Hey guys, so um, I am live here and I'm trying to get uh, my good friend Jessa on camera. Okay, I'm on the camera. I'm sorry, wait. The only thing is your camera is okay, great. There you go. Awesome. So I think we have solved we have solved okay. that issue. Uh, oh. wonderful. All right, we're here. We made it. Technology. Yay. Hey guys, bear with us. Hi everybody. Us. Hi Siri. <laughs> Hi Kevin. Oh hey, we're here. We made it. Thank you. Oh no, I feel like we're breaking up. Being on a human journey. And uh, today, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Alubade. Um, you're on my, uh, on my personal account here today, coming to you with something that I think a lot of you would find very, very fascinating. Many of you may know of my commitment to serve and connect 50,000 visionaries and creatives all across the globe so that we expand massively together. And I uh, have a commitment to place in your hands uh, the best tools that I've come across that are going to empower many of you who are involved in creative enterprises all around the world. It's giving you the best that I've encountered in my lifetime. So to that end, I started Bloom Education and the Together Strong group here on Facebook. But this conversation is not so much about that today, but um, it is to share with you some of the best tools that I've encountered so far in this journey of empowering creatives. So today with me live is Jessa Hargrove. Jessa is a marketing mm -hmm. and uh, promotion coach and strategist. Um, Jessa, you have some noise in your background there, but I understand Do that I? you're at the beach. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's a marketing <laughs> strategist and coach for, um, for all types of businesses. And um, she's been working close with me for the last four months. And much of what Jessa has shared with me has been completely fascinating. And so today I wanted to just get on my personal profile and give you a little taste of what I've been experiencing with her and in turn what we're rolling out uh, through Bloom Education. Again, it's an educational online platform for creatives and visionaries. So with that said, Jessa, I just want to say thank you so much for agreeing to do this uh, with me, I know you're on vacation there in Curacao, um, and it was, I met Jessa in Curacao, she's a New Yorker. Jessa, tell us a little bit about yourself, and tell us a little bit about what is heartfelt marketing. Okay, well, first of all, thank you for having me here. Sorry, the blender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't think about that when I came. Uh, but thank you for having That's me okay. here. I'm really excited about everything that you're doing, and I'm happy to be a part of the team that's putting it all together. So um, I'm Absolutely. currently in Curacao. We've been here for a year, about, just about a year. Mm -hmm. We've been here from New York. Just got sick of the, I guess, hustle and grind. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so Heartfelt is what I created when I left the States. When I was working in the States, I was working in Brooklyn and in Manhattan with on-ground businesses, working with their, mar their media, their marketing, their strategy, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Everybody from the mortgage bank to the daycare around the corner. They're kind of, mm, you have a business mm -hmm. and it, there's a service in there, then I was helping them. It was very, very fun and very exciting and I learned a lot. But what I wanted mm -hmm. to do was calm down a little bit, change my pace, mm. change my lifestyle, do more things mm -hmm. for my children and less for the money or paying the $4,000 rent for a two bedroom. Mm. You know, I changed my style, so I changed my people as well. So instead of just anybody who needs me who's local, I specifically created Heartfelt to help people who help people do more and of it so that we can yeah. all change the world together. Absolutely. Um, I just want to interject here, Jessa, so people are clear. We're going to, you and I are going to be talking about how to market without marketing. Um, yes. And we talk about heartfelt business. 
um, mm -hmm. uh, your strategy is heartfelt marketing. And for so long, I've been looking for mm -hmm. a way to market uh, my products and services through Bloom, whether it is my book or the courses that I have in, in a way that's heartfelt and that has integrity mm -hmm. for me and not feel really uh, salesy mm -hmm. or pitchy. And I, I really yeah. found that in right. you. How did you discover that? And what is that all about? Wow. So, wow. That takes us back a good, probably two decades. Um, it really comes down to communication for me and a lot of the why and the how of it. And um, mm -hmm. coming out in my book soon, which you're holding me accountable to finish. But um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I grew up not having um, a lot in the way of communication skills, being, you know, trauma and everything as a child. I just mm -hmm. did not communicate. I was not taught communication the way that my toddler mm -hmm. is right now. He's just sitting there listening to me teach you all how to communicate. So I had to figure that out on my own. And it was as a young adult that I decided, that's it. I need to be able to have more agency over my life and the things that are happening to me mm -hmm. because I was on a path and I could see it to be, you know, barefoot pregnant in a trailer like everybody else in my situation would have been at the time. And I was like, that is mm -hmm. no. I want to be barefoot on a beach in Curacao instead. Which you are. And so I mm -hmm. moved forward that way, exactly. So I kept um, very copious journals as a kid. I was, it was like an obsession was my journaling and throughout the next decade or so I was starting to figure things out a little bit did mm -hmm. a lot of things I'm wrong with you. and learned learned a lot I did a lot of things wrong but I figured out a couple of different things that are really important no matter what the relationship is whether it's a business relationship or not because I wasn't an entrepreneur when I was 17 but mm -hmm. um, going through my business and seeing how I'm using these things for my on-ground business um, in, in New York I started to put it all together. It was a long list. It was like 23 or something like that, different things. Mm -hmm. like, keep this in mind. Keep this in mind, Jessa. You got to keep this in mind. And I distilled them all down and kept refining, refining, refining more. And now we're at the 10, the 10 psychological triggers awesome. communicating your worth, your value, rather than pitching the idea of something or getting somebody emotionally excited, but logically they're just like, what is going on? We want people to really mm -hmm. stick with you, resonate with you, and want to spend more time with you. Because as an entrepreneur, people's time is really what they're paying as well, as well as their, their dollars. So we want all of these things to be happening at the same time, but in the right order as well. I, I definitely uh, hear you, and I hear your commitment to have um, the communication, especially across marketing platforms, just to be mm -hmm. human conversations. Um, yeah. You know, one of the, as I thought about the description today, one of the ways I described it was just, a sales conversation as a conversation between good friends. It's just you know a what? Good what does that a look lovely like? Chat. Yeah. Yeah, and in every conversation, these ten triggers arise. Mm -hmm. You know, so the possibility yeah. here is: what if uh, we could really have conversations uh, in which we share our products and services with each other in a mm -hmm. way that is just like a conversation between the yeah. two good friends, rather than a pitch um, or anything? I don't pitch anybody ever. I've got mm -hmm. so many clients and I've never pitched a single one of you. It can yeah. be done and it should be done this way, especially when it's a heart to heart um, transaction that's happening there. So tell us um, when, when this isn't present, um, how, how have you seen these kinds of things go terribly wrong and what happens when they do work? Huh? Mm -hmm. These types of conversations. Do you want me to say that again? Um, I think I lost you for a second. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so the question is, um, what, what happens when you notice that these kinds of conversations go really, really badly? And what happens when they go really, really well? Yeah. So, I mean, if you're, especially if you're in the service-based industry on, on Facebook or anywhere, you're seeing a lot of non-conversations happening. When it goes really wrong, you know, you can feel it in your bones when you're reading these things. Mm. You're being talked at, not to. You're being talked about, not with. And that's really unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I see so many people, in, even in my own industry, being like, you're never going to make it. You're never going to make six figures mm. until you hire me. And even then, you got to do the work. And I said, whoa, hey, now, that's not cool. And by the way, you're wrong because I am and I didn't hire you. So it's really unfortunate when people feel like in their marketing, they have to make people feel smaller and then say, mm -hmm. hire me and I'll make you feel bigger. 
that to me is yeah really, wow really wow wow <laughs> very backwards wow yeah I, I i can totally get that so when it goes right what are some of the things that you're noticing when when a really great marketing conversation is had gratitude is one of the biggest mm -hmm. things that you'll see when it goes right ambassadors gratitude just an open space you'll mm -hmm. create a, cu a culture around what it is that you're offering rather than this is my business and I hope that somebody buys one of my packages. There's a culture. It's a living, breathing, organic thing that you have mm -hmm. now that works mm -hmm. for you, around you, and with you when you are having mm -hmm. conversations and you are truly serving people. And it doesn't have to be exhausting either. I mean, I am on vacation. I can do that. Mm -hmm. But you will mm -hmm. see that the biggest change is gratitude. There's a sense of gratitude. And everything that you do, every time you show up, there's gratitude and there's love and there's support and there are people who spread your word for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious now um, for you to share with uh, people who are listening and those who are listening now and those who are going to be um, listening um, to this in the future. What are these 10 psychological triggers? What are the 10? All right. So I'm going to try not to take up everybody's entire day with this. But these things, I'm very passionate about them. So we'll, we'll just I'll, I have notes just so I don't ramble because <laughs> it's exciting. Mm -hmm. So I do have all of them for everybody in the incubator. They're like really long sessions that really break them down and everything. But for an overview, just think about how you can implement these things for your business mm -hmm. and for yourself. I mean, I do each of these things for myself even. You know, I have a personal USP. So the first one that we want to really make sure that we're letting people feel, think, and know, like in their bones, in their DNA, when they discover you, they're like, I'm in the right place. This is the right person, or this is the right time. Mm. We want them to be mm -hmm. feeling these things. When people hear, for example, your USP or your message or you're introduced to somebody or they see your business card somewhere, oh, my God, I need that. Or, oh, my gosh, where has this been all my life? Mm. Or, oh, my gosh, I can't wait to learn more. That's what we want mm -hmm. people feeling. That, and that all comes down to resonance and alignment and vibration mm -hmm. and just those, like, mm -hmm. those elemental qualities that fit us. If I fit you mm -hmm. and you fit me right off the bat, chances are pretty good yeah. I'm going to hire you, you know, pretty good. I want to say something so here, just so. first trigger. So if you can really get that first one down, all of this other mm -hmm. stuff is really just intuitive. I find that sometimes it's easier to tell people, it's, it's, tell, it's easier to tell people what you do as opposed to telling them what you're committed to. And I think people want to know exactly. what are you committed to and what are you creating mm -hmm. in, in the bigger mm -hmm. scheme of things, you know, like, Absolutely. yeah, who you are, you may be this, you may be a lawyer, you may be a salesman, but whatever. But the important question is, what are you committed to? And can I be committed? Can I feel you inside of that commitment uh, exactly. on a deeper level? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that's with your message, a really strong message of mm -hmm. resonance. You know, for me, my message is super simple. I help people who help people so we can all save the world. Therefore, your success is my success is the world's success. That's such Absolutely. a simple message. Such a simple message. We don't have to complicate these things because if we do, then it's going to be even harder to resonate. If there's too much to try to resonate with, then it's not going to work as easily. Keep it simple. Keep it short. Keep it true. Keep it really, really authentic. Mm -hmm. And you will see that the people who need you will find you because they will be vibrating towards you in a way that they'll be able to actually see you and know that you're Absolutely. the right person for them. That's the very simple one. It can take some work you know, it's to the create first that one. good USP or to create a very powerful message. There are easy steps. If anybody needs any help with that, let me know. I have some free trainings that I can just tag you in or anything, something like that and help you get that down, get that down. Because once it's there, then it's just mm -hmm. a clear path ahead of you because now you've mm -hmm. got the people. Now, now what do you do for these people? Okay, they're all here. Maybe you have a Facebook group or something. What do I do? And that's when the, the fun and the work kind of starts. So once they, you've done that, they know and they feel that they're in the right place. And now they also need to know and understand that you can help them or if you're, service, or if you're mm -hmm. not a service-based business, that you do have what they need. It has to be very, very clear. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I see a lot of companies, even big mortgage banks that I've worked with, they're not clear about it with other people because it's a foregone conclusion in their own heads, but they're not in their consumer's mm -hmm. head. So this is where you really want to get into your, the head, the mind, and use your empathy and say, what do they need to absolutely certainly know? Like, we know. That I am the one. As you come, yes. So everybody, like for heartfelt, mm -hmm. they're like, heartfelt business. That sounds interesting. I really wish that I had more of that in my business. What is it? Okay, it's marketing 
and growth coaching for service-based entrepreneurs. Very, very, very mm -hmm. clear. And we want to make sure that it's there. A lot of people skip it. Like I've had banks fight me on like, we offer mortgage loans. Just say it. So be very clear. Be ridiculously clear. Almost obnoxious about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And really keep it moving forward. And then once you've done that, then we get to some of the more meaty things. And this the next one, number three, there are a lot of business coaches. They base their entire platform on this one trigger. And it's like and trust. Mm -hmm. And we mm -hmm. all know we mm -hmm. want people to like and trust us. It doesn't matter if you're mm -hmm. Nike or Susie, the cleaning lady, like and trust. It's very important in your business. But I take this in a very different route because I have, with the way that I help my people, is there's a, an end result to like and trust that we really want to get. Mm -hmm. It could be enough for you. What we really want to do is once we, they like and trust us, we want them to like and trust us enough to spend lots of time with us. We want there to be mm -hmm. so much like and trust that when you go live, they're waiting for you. We want it to be so much like and trust that when you give something, they're ready to take it. So much like and trust that when mm. you offer them an opportunity, they're raising their hands and jumping out of their chairs. We want them spending time with you. And that's why we have yeah. things like the cultures. And, oh, he made me sand pizza. Say hi, Mr. Olu. <laughs> hey. So that's where we're Who's... going with like and trust. Mm -hmm. Ellington. Uh, okay. Jessa, how do you how do you how do you build like and trust? You know, for me, um, it's all about. Think... Sorry. <laughs> so for me, when it comes to like and trust, a lot of people it comes naturally. Just you know, I'm kind of sweet and very very gracious and giving, but I create the sense of like and trust with just giving from the from the get go. Like I I have an entire. Mm. I've, dozens and dozens of hours of just free things that people can take advantage of they understand that other people appreciate me a lot of times like and trust can be really easy to get if it's a referral i know i'm sorry mm -hmm. he really wants to show you his fan castle mr olu <laughs> so cute everybody he loves olu one of mr one of his favorites so sweet so Hi, creating mm -hmm. that like and trust is easy. Keeping it can be mm -hmm. a little bit more difficult, especially as you're growing. Because if you're pivoting, you want to be careful that you're not breaking any of those bonds that you've made. Got it. Definitely. More so triggers. the next one, <laughs> number four. Mm -hmm. This one mm -hmm. can be a little tricky, especially if you're popping onto the scene right now. And that's the, the trigger that shows I am qualified. And I know that I'm qualified. No mm -hmm. questions asked. I'm qualified. I, so you, you're resonating with me. We're aligned. You like and trust me. And now you're like, okay, so how qualified are you? You know, I don't know. And then it can mm -hmm. get kind of uncomfortable, especially for those people who are um, going through the, the, the live series that I'm doing right now. I'm helping people just kind of like pop onto the scene and splash. Here I am. Who needs my help? Rather than, mm -hmm. okay, what's up? How do I do this? So this one can be really tough, and this is where a lot of different psychological breaks happen for the entrepreneur themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that um, you know, I don't fit in, or imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. these kinds of things. And this is where we want to really own the fact that we're doing a specific thing for a specific group of people. If somebody outside of this specific group of people thinks that maybe I'm not, I don't care. It doesn't, doesn't affect mm -hmm. me at all. That's not my, my problem at all. So when we're doing that, we also want to keep in mind what do our people need from a qualification. For me, I'm going mm -hmm. to be honest. Right now, I do not have a PhD in marketing. I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still extraordinarily qualified. And a lot of that comes with, you know, the proof is in the pudding and that sort of thing. So if you're having a hard time with this one, especially as a new entrepreneur, then what we want to do is just keep showing up stronger showing up more. Mm -hmm. And when we do show up, let's not do any regurgitating of any material that we've just learned, whether you've gotten a health coaching certification or you just you know, took a, a marketing course or something. We don't want to just regurgitate it. We want to put in a little bit of our own ingenuity. Put your own spin on it because really there's no such thing as a brand new. But it's just how we look at it through our own kaleidoscope and then put it back out there. Absolutely. So, um, so that trigger is, are you qualified? And whether yeah. it is, um, 
it's 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 important because again we're talking about triggers that are mm-hmm. uh, that come up naturally in people's minds as yeah. you are in, idea, uh, introducing them to your product and you want to get ahead sure of those triggers there. and like, make sure that you handle the question, that concern like 10 in the back before of the mind that. Yeah. before it's asked more yeah. triggers jessa all right so the next one is okay sorry i don't know what that was um the next one is the biggest one and all the other ones are really easy after this the next one is that you are willing to be generous and to educate for free. That is the mm. biggest one. So this is where anybody who's ever worked with me, the, the term rabbit hole is coming in. And what we're doing is we're giving that sense of generosity in a way that it's like, oh my gosh, if this person can give that much away for free, I don't even want to know how much I'm missing mm-hmm. right now. Like, please, mm-hmm. what else is behind that other door? And we want to give in a way that is full of generosity, never have a sense of, see how much I gave you? Now pay me something. We don't want that. What we want is, you see how much I have? I have so much more. I can give 110% mm-hmm. more than what I just gave you. And it's, it's very fun to do as well. I've been loving it the last like year and a half, building this whole rabbit hole of just free givings and offerings. And I even mm-hmm. have a pro bono program. It's just amazing how much this works for me. I think... It, it creates a lot of conversion but it creates massive ambassadors people full of appreciation and gratitude is the number one currency that i work with in my industry i think that's that's amazing just the thing that i've learned from you in that regard is is simply to educate people about what it is you do you know mm-hmm. and your process for doing it and what's exactly. uh, really awesome about the way you share this as you share it within the context of generosity Mm-hmm. You know, that, that information has so much currency. You know, what yeah. is it that so you're So many really people doing? in the industry what, yeah. hold secrets. Like, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I hear that as, um, you know, you call it giving information for free. I hear it also as educating people as to mm-hmm. the, what exactly you're offering and mm-hmm. how exactly um, mm-hmm. the journey with you, what's that going to look yeah, like, uh, exactly. what that's going to look and feel like. The best okay, way awesome. to have some, the, the easiest way to get somebody to say, yes, I think that this person can help me is to help them. If you help mm-hmm. them, they will know that you can help them. And it's so backwards for other people, especially service-based businesses. They're like, nope, I'm not going to help you until you pay my invoice. Like, wait a mm-hmm. minute. <laughs> That's the other mm-hmm. way, especially as a business coach. Like, if I help you, you'll be able to make money and you'll be able to afford to pay me. So doesn't, shouldn't I flip the script on myself a little? Makes more sense that way. For me, anyway. Absolutely. But yeah, so those are the first five and they're the most important mm-hmm. ones. I mean, mm. if you do number, if you do these, just these ones and say, screw the rest of them, I don't care, you will still get some conversions. Not a lot, but you will still get some conversions. And it's easy to do because, mm-hmm. it, for example, if you watch the replay of up until right now in this live that we're doing together, I did all five of them. Every single one of them mm. was covered. And just mm-hmm. a heartfelt chat. So it's easy enough. Yes. So don't overthink any of I'm- these. Don't overthink any of these. So the other ones are so, really where conversion starts to happen. So tell me about them. Um, I know we have gone through uh, the five so far. Oh, I, again. I, I just want again. to underline them for viewers. Uh-huh. Uh, so I just want to go through the first five. And the one is uh, make sure you identify yes. yourself so that people know that they're in the right place. Correct? And so that they can hear what your commitment is to them. Mm-hmm. The other one that you mentioned mm-hmm. just is making sure that you educate people and that you're giving away information, you're giving away things mm-hmm. for free so that mm-hmm. people actually know, uh, uh, can benefit from what you have to offer, just the information exactly. that you have and you can give that away freely. Mm-hmm. And then the other one that mm-hmm. I heard um, was to make sure that there is likability. Make sure that, and for yeah. me when I heard that, what I heard was saying was make sure people can actually mm-hmm. understand that you feel where they are right now and that you can relate mm-hmm. to where they are inside of their, their, mm-hmm. their circumstances, you know? Mm-hmm. So I heard yeah. those three very clearly. And then um, I mm-hmm. think, let me see which ones you, which other one you touched on. Give me the other two you touched on in the first one. All right, line. so the first one is that they're in the right place. They know they're in the right place. The second Absolutely. one, they know that you can help them. They know that you understand Qualification, where they are yes. and can help them. Mm-hmm. Then the one is that they're qualified. And then finally, you're able to actually serve and prove by generously giving the education that they're looking for. Absolutely. Okay, awesome. 
So that's the five, first so five guys that, that we should make a note of it. The, la mm -hmm. the last five are the conversion ones. So the conversion mm. ones are pretty easy, and a lot of times you just have to do one thing one time and just have it there, and it's ready to go. So once you've educated them, we definitely, excuse me, the features and the benefits of it. So we also know marketing 101, speak to the features, speak to the benefits of what it is that you're offering them. So once you've given them something, then you can offer them something more, which is where we're going to start working more towards conversion. <clears throat> so we want to make sure that when we're talking to the features and the benefits, we're working more towards the transformation. Whether your product or service based, there is some little tiny psychological transformation that that person is looking for in, in making this decision. So we don't mm -hmm. want to just stop at the benefits. Like a drill has a bit and it can, you know, makes, you can plug it in, you know, features and benefits. But the actual transformation is that table that you're looking to build or, you know, that hole in your, the, the roof that you want to patch up or something like that. That's the transformation that we want to be speaking to because that, again, shows us that we understand not just where they are. We're willing to meet them where they are, but we're also able to take them where they want to go because we understand where that is. We know where on the map mm -hmm. that is. So we want to and, see um, the benefits yeah. of the transformation. Transformation. One of the things that I remember you saying to me is, that, yeah, you buy that drill, you buy that bit, but the transformation is the table, and it's mm -hmm. also the people around that table having yes. a wonderful meal together, exactly. the fellowship, you know? Exactly. So um, that was very, very vivid for myself when you shared that. So, awesome. <laughs> so more, more. <laughs> so the next one after that, features, benefits, let's talk about that transformation. I know where you want to go. I see where you are. I know where you want to go. I can mm -hmm. get us there. That's really important. Then after that, it gets easier and easier. Social proof. There has to be social proof that working with you is a good idea. It actually, the transformation did actually happen. I did actually learn something. Social proof. So those testimonials are gold. They're really, really gold. And there's a couple of things about testimonials that I see a lot of entrepreneurs doing wrong that is just like, okay, can I just shake the whole planet and say, don't do that? So what we want to do is, number one, not put them all in one spot on our website. You can have a testimonials page, but don't leave them there. Sprinkle them around. The testimonials are like little ambassador nomads in your business. So use them in, reference them in your lives. Use them in posts. Sprinkle them in different areas on your website. You know, just put them in your videos, little pop-ups and stuff like that. Let your testimonials work for you. And make sure that you're getting the right kinds of testimonials. Number one, if it mm. reads like a, this is what happened kind of testimonial, don't use those. Like, we had lunch and then we paid and went home. That's not a testimonial for a restaurant. <laughs> a testimonial is like, wow, I had the steak. It was amazing. I can't wait to come back. I can't stop talking about it. But that sort of thing. We want to have three it different kinds of testimonials. It puts the person in experience. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we want to have three different kinds of testimonials so that the person reading them while they're making their decision is really being able to see themselves in the place, in, in, on that timeline for mm -hmm. them. So we want people mm -hmm. who have testi use testimonials for things, the, like the discovery phase. They're, they're like, wow, oh my gosh, I just found this group. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, how is this happening? This is real? I can have this? That's a testimonial. They, you don't have to only use testimonials for people who have worked with you. It can just be people who just enjoy the fact that they found Mommy, you in the first place. I'm a guy. Okay, you're a guy. Mm. <laughs> and then when, we also want to have testimonials for people who are in that research phase and like you're know, watching your lives and you know, trigger number five, you're going to get a lot of testimonials saying, thank you so much for sharing all of this. Oh my gosh, I feel like I should have paid for that. Use those as testimonials as well because we want people who feel like, yeah, I mm. felt that too. Yeah, I felt that too. I mm. did feel that. And now I want to go feel that. And then so you also do want to make sure you're using plenty of testimonials for after when people have worked with you. So the whole Absolutely. gamut, you want people saying, I, I felt that, I felt that, I felt that. All of these checks, these, all of these boxes are checked off except for one. And now they want to go check that one off and they want to feel that way as well. So that's a very effective way to be using testimonials. Mm. And it's, it's a lot of fun because you don't have to only get testimonials from people who paid you. And on that note, when it comes to working for free for testimonials, which is a very popular thing, especially in the coaching industry, do not make the, man the testimonial mandatory because it will not read well. If they want to mm -hmm. give it to you, mm -hmm. then good. They're earned. They're, there's no saying, I have to have this testimonial because it's not going to work. Good work makes 
meets a good testimonial and that's the only way. So that Absolutely. one is that one. So the next one is, um, this one is pretty easy. Number eight is easy for some people who are um, specifically product-based, but if you're service-based, this one can be a little tricky. And this is where we're showing that, that there is a lot of logic in this and that there's no risk that can be tough. Mm. Because up until now, mm -hmm. we're, up to, we're almost there, we're almost to conversion. Up until now, we've been really helping them emotionally and psychologically, like, okay, nurturing, nurturing, giving, 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 mm -hmm. understanding, <clears throat> really aligning the whole time. Wow, that was a big lizard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, but now we have to really flip that, that logical switch for people. And, that can be and how do you do really that? Tough. So, if you are product based, you're like, you know, if it doesn't fit, you can hit return it, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> that sort of thing. But if you are service based, this is where we want to prevent the need for it in the first place. So we can do, uh, if, you, if you want to, or if you can, you can definitely have, you know, money back guarantees or benchmark guarantees, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what I do is I avoid working with people who would need that in the first place. And there's a very mm -hmm. easy litmus test that I use for it. So when it comes to my kind of clients, the, or the, I guess the people who are attracted to me and we're aligned, there are two different kinds of people. One is the kind of person who says, okay, how can I get somebody to get that for me? I need to go get that. I want this thing, how do, whatever it is, a dog or a job or anything. How can I get somebody to go do that for me? And the other person mm -hmm. is the person say, asking themselves, how can I really get this? Okay, how can I solidify this for myself? How can I do this? Mm. And I mm -hmm. only work mm. with camp number two. Because mm. those are the kind of people who I know I'm going to be successful with. Like, you are definitely camp number two. You didn't say, Jessa, build my business for me. <laughs> You're like, how do I do this? How do I, how do I really get this for myself? I want that. Please help me yeah. get that for myself. I only work with camp number two. Got it. I just want to say this, Jessa, that that's mm -hmm. an important one um, and has been for me because I think, uh, you know, after you educate people about what you do and you show them the features and benefits and you mm -hmm. qualify yourself and all of that, I think especially in a service-based business, you really want to say, I provided that service for myself mm -hmm. and this is what it has done for yeah. me. Being your you own know, that, is a yeah, very effective. Yeah, and so that's part of the logic, you know, mm -hmm. if I can do this then I mm -hmm. believe you can do it too. And mm -hmm. I will not stop until, until you can we do, do it too, because yeah. your success is my success. Exactly. And that makes it, uh, that really seals the logic mm -hmm. there as yeah. to why, you know, I've used this product. I have done mm -hmm. this service. This is, exactly. and you tell the person about the mm -hmm. journey with the service mm -hmm. or the product that you're offering. It's very, very important to see very that magical. logic part of it. It is. And yeah. people will switch camps on you too. I've had to, I've had to say no to people because mm -hmm. they're in the wrong camp. And I've had to explain mm -hmm. to them why. It's a risk for me to work with somebody who's in camp number one. That's a risk mm -hmm. for my business because if my success is their success and they're not successful, then I'm not successful. So then mm -hmm. I've had people switch camps. They're like, okay, maybe I need a different kind of coaching. Maybe I need mm -hmm. some mindset work so that I can join the right camp so that I can then get the help that I really, truly do need. Yeah, yeah. So you're after people um, who are actually generating in a position and they're ready to generate stuff. Um, yeah, to do it for you know, themselves already. and not so expect that they're going to pay a coach and it'll be just done, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So that's exciting. So, so um, once that's let... there, we're ready. That's it, conversion time. Mm -hmm. Let's go. The, the easiest okay. one to do is also the one that I see most people missing a lot. <laughs> it has to be stupid easy for people to convert. It has to be so clear, like in your face, like don't even have to think about it. Easy for them to convert. They need to know exactly what's happening. Click here. Give me a call. Message me, mm. whatever it is. Super, super easy to do. But then there's one other step that I want you all to take, including that. Once they know what to do, they also need to know what's going to happen right after they hit register or mm -hmm. right after they sign the, uh, the, the contract. What's going to be that next step? Because you also want them visualizing forward, just like what we do with the testimonials, checking those boxes, making those steps. I want to feel that, that we, we want them to also see as they're clicking that, okay, I'm going to get an email with my username and password or something like that. Mm -hmm. They're going to know already before they even do it because that will get them, the mo that will create the momentum in their, psych in their psyche. It will get them to go all the way through.
and you will have mm. you'll see a lot of people a lot less um, people just like leaving the cart and that kind of thing they'll actually follow through mm. so that's it that's number nine there's one more <laughs> mm -hmm. there's one more and this is the most important one because this is the one that brings people back all the way up to trigger number one again and bringing their friends with them and that's mm -hmm. gratitude and I know you probably saw it coming <laughs> gratitude we want people to feel so appreciated. We want people to know that you know that without them, your business would not be here. It would not be a thing because they are the business, not you. We want people really feeling appreciated. We want them feeling inspired to do anything. We want people saying, I'm going to make you a proud coach. I'm going to work my butt mm -hmm. off and I will make you a proud coach. And this is going to do a lot for you. It's going to, first of all, just make you feel really good just talking about it. I'm like, I love my business. Thank you, Maxwell. Thank you, everybody. And it's also going to create ambassadors for your business so that you don't have to market. Once you've gone through this list once, you don't have to market. So this is literally marketing without marketing. You have awesome. You know, I, uh, the reason I brought, just as thank you so much for that, the reason why I brought just on is because I thought, I thought that this material is just pure gold. I mean, for myself, you know, I've worked them and I'm in the, their practices, first of all. So they're not things that we all of a sudden we arrive and we master, yeah. you, you know, and I've, yeah. I've had to reorder them for myself and put them inside of my own elemental uh, structure to bring some logic to it. And, um, you know, I just feel that this is, this is such valuable information um, that we should not really, uh, it should be shared with the whole world. And this is why, mm -hmm. again, just so uh, you know, I brought you on my personal page just to put this out I'm there. I'm honored. I'm so honored yeah, to be here. Yeah, there's so many things coming at us on the internet, online, mm -hmm. and um, we to our Funnels and magical so, emails yeah. and, oi. <laughs> yeah, so how do we deconstruct them mm -hmm. and how do we have the conversations uh, with folk in which uh, uh, we feel that we've come from a heartfelt place and communicated to other people mm -hmm. in a heartfelt way. One of the gifts Jessa has for us is that she has just developed this thing called uh, a conversation tracker with mm -hmm. all the 10 psychological triggers that you have to get ahead of folk with. And I'm gonna drop that in the comments and I'm also gonna drop it in the description nice. uh, to this live. So you have an opportunity, it's a spreadsheet, right, Jessa? Yeah, it's a spreadsheet where you can be... put people's names on it and you can track which psychological trigger they're at. And I'll tell you, if you can get them to six, the odds are pretty good that they're gonna become your client. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, um, so this is a real tool that uh, we wanna provide for you in this conversation so that you can have it. Uh, to, to track your conversations with folk. Um, I just want to say, Jessa, how can we get more of what you have to offer? Yeah, everything I have, every free bit of information, the dozens of free trainings, the academy, the incubator, everything is all on my website, heartfelt.business. It is a not .com, so it's not heartfeltbusiness.com. It's mm -hmm. heartfelt.business. Business, and it's yes. it's all there. I would suggest the first thing you look at is the tab that says all of the heart free heartfelt trainings, anything you need. It's searchable, so if you're like, how do I grow my group? Type it in. How do I you know, make an offer? Type that in there. It's all there for you. Check it all out. I spent a lot of time building that for you all, and I'm really excited for your feedback on that. It's amazing. So um, there's a lot of free stuff um, with Jess. You can click on her, uh, the tag that she's tagged in this video to get more information. And I'm just astounded at the amount of uh, stuff that you've given away generously, Jessa. Um, just being a demonstration of yourself and what you're saying. Um, the thing that I'm also excited about is that there's an incubator that Jess has started and it's for small businesses. And this is, again, one of my motivations for having her on because I have so many friends here in New York and around the world who are entrepreneurs, creative entrepreneurs, visionaries, uh, looking to start their own businesses and to, or in the process, are already mm -hmm. starting their own businesses. Yeah. And I believe this incubator, it would be a great jump start. Yeah. Each week, just <laughs> says, in there, working with each person individually mm -hmm. uh, to really make, have a breakthrough in your business. So that's mm -hmm. the incubator. And I really want to recommend that folks you it's look amazing. That We've done that. our first 30 days of the incubator, mm -hmm. and people's lives are changing so fast. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah. I cry about it, like, oh my god, it's so great. So yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's intense. It's not for everybody. You have to really be committed. And yeah. um, the, all of the information, again, is on the website. But just a brief overview, we meet eight times a week. 
uh, live coaching sessions and everybody gets their own individual time. It's not like, hey, listen to me ramble and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> everybody comes, mm -hmm. uh, everybody's at a different spot, working on different things, building different ways, all of that. So everybody gets their own individual time, which means that I can't let in too many people, otherwise then everybody won't get their time. So get in if you're serious. We meet eight times a week. It starts with my 30-day intensive, which is intense, <laughs> pretty intense. Mm -hmm. um, we set up the foundation first, and then we build from there, creating more exposure opportunities and conversion opportunities for you and your business for the rest of the year, or, or however long you want. Come in, leave, cancel anytime, no questions asked. So let's drop some of those links in the, uh, in the yeah, comments, just, uh, and um, again, guys, I uh, just want to uh, say uh, uh, to Jess a big thank you. Thank She's you. coming all the way from Curacao. I know you're on vacation a uh, week now. Sounds good. I met Jess uh, again in Curacao. Um, she has been in New York for so long, so I knew that she knew her way around the block in terms of yeah. um, what the challenges that are I do miss New York, but this is really nice. <laughs> No, it, it looks lovely. Um, please give Ellie and Langston my love. I know I they're on the beach there with they're, you. They're missing. Having an amazing time. Yeah. So, guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, we had some little technical glitches in the beginning. I hope you had the opportunity all to listen all the way through. Um, this is what it is. Um, you know, just I hope you'll come back again on with me at some Anytime? point in time. Anytime. I've got a couple more ideas for you guys. So. Yeah, and let's sharpen up some things. I want to put yeah. it on my personal page. Uh, so that people know uh, who I am. And, um, you know, you and I worked on my unique selling proposition, who I mm -hmm. am. And I am committed to serving visionaries and Excited. creatives all around the globe so that we expand massively and putting the best tools that I've encountered um, at our disposal so that, again, uh, we and our businesses expand massively. That's what I'm doing uh, okay. in Zoom Education. I'm um, going to get a strong group and all of that. So... Uh, again, Jessa, thank you so very much. And thank You're those so of welcome. you who hung in there with us and listen. Keep enjoying and enjoy the rest of your vacation, Jessa. Yes, absolutely. I'll yeah. talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Peace and blessings.